taste white. It doesn't look much, but it tastes amazing. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making my favourite Soup Simple picnic pasta. You'll need four beef tomatoes, three onions, one garlic, some olive oil and pasta. Make sure you boil some water and we're not going to, I'm not going to be using tin tomatoes, I'm going to be using beef tomatoes. Bring some water to the boil. We're going to be using some beef tomatoes because they taste much nicer than tin tomatoes. But we do not want the skin on them so we're going to boil them. Be very careful when you put your tomatoes into the water because it could splash you. I'm going to be using a spaghetti spoon to put them in and out. I'm only putting two tomatoes in because otherwise the pan will overflow because it's a bit small. But what you're looking for is for the tomato skin to split. While my tomatoes boil, I'm going to chop my onions. Thanks, buddy, for the top tip for wearing goggles when you chop your onions because onions make you cry. It worked. Now we need to peel our onion. I can smell the onion, but I'm not crying. It's satisfying. Right, so now we need to chop it in half. And chop it into slices. And make sure you don't chop your fingers off. These are big onions, so it might be worth to get an adult, adult to help. It's important to let your tomato cool because it will be very hot if you start peeling. It's all cracked down the side, like someone's put a knife in it and then stopped. One. Oh, the tomato smelled good. to put our other two tomatoes in. There we go. Tomatoes, ooh, quite hot. So the tomatoes are split and you can smell all the insides of the um, tomato. It looks pretty cool. You may think there's a lot of onions but that's pretty much all that's in it. You've got gar onions, garlic, tomato, pasta and olive oil. Only five ingredients. Now we're going to heat up our pan and put some olive oil in. And now we're going to add our onions. Can you hear the onions sizzling? So they need to cool. Tomato skin is keeping it warm. There we go. Oh, that the garlic looks really cool inside. It's like the gar the the skin of it is huddling up the little garlic. It looks a bit like an unopened flower. It's a garlic bulb, and the little garlic inside are, is a garlic clove. Buddy hack number two. You see all these garlics? They've all got their skin on, but apparently, if you shake them... So, let's see if it works for me, and it comes out perfectly. It just slips out. Let's try. Put two bowls on top. And then, you shake. Let's see if it works. doesn't work. Sad. But if you just chop the ends off them, it will work. It'll just peel off. Minus five. Minus two. <laughs> Yay! My dad gave 
give it some welly. Oh, and they came out. It literally did that. We're so impressed. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven garlics. I mean, we do have a lot of onions that are getting brown. Keep stirring them, they'll get browner and browner. And we peeled our four tomatoes. So we're, we're nearly there. Now it's time to cut our tomatoes. We need to, just what's left is to cut our tomatoes, put, it, put, put some garlic into the onions, boil some pasta and put it all together. And there you have your picnic pasta, but we're not done. This is called a garlic press and I'm putting in my garlic clovers now. Not at the beginning because they could burn. So I'm only going to put like probably two in because it's the little cabinet isn't that big. So basically this bit here, this flat bit, you press your garlic onto this, all these holes and your garlic comes out. But you might need a bit of help from a parent because it's quite hard. Let's come in. Any of you? Let's try again. I got some help with the garlic because it's quite hard. But it, the garlic will give the pasta a nice taste. So will the olive oil, onions, tomatoes and pasta. But I'm just going to give it a stir and chop up to my tomatoes in quarters. But you probably don't want the hard bits on. Right. Let's grab a tomato. Ooh, they're squishy. And we're going to chop it in half. Doesn't want a gum. Half. Then, do it the other way, and half again. Then, you've got some quarters. So there's four. There we go. There, you have all your tomatoes. Now, we're going to put them in with the, gar the garlic and the onions. I'm just chopping the tomatoes up a bit with the spoon, it just so then it can cook down a bit more. This is actually a vegan dish, but it's so simple, so tasty. And now we're going to put the lid on and then we're going to boil the pasta a bit of where the boiling water that we put with the tomatoes a bit. And then even if they're not cooked that much, we're going to put them in with, with um, our sauce and then it will suck up all the juice and then it will be even tastier. And I learnt that off my dad, who learnt that off my granddad. I did just offer a few pasta shells, but that is fine. This bag has 500 grams in, so 100 grams for um, every person. But there's four of us in my family, my sister, my dad, my mum, and me. Um, so, but we're going to use the whole thing because we're all very hungry. Or, or we can use it for tomorrow for lunch. I need a bit more water though, because otherwise the top ones will not cook. We only want to cook the pasta a little bit because it's going to finish cooking in the sauce and it's going to suck all the juice up and it'll be really nice. It's going to cook a, cook a bit and then once this is fairly done, we're going to pour it all together, and that's your dish. Let's just check on that. Whoa. Ooh, look at all that juice. Yum. It's from the tomatoes, olive oil, and the onions. Now I've got a few minutes. While both of them are cooking, I'm going to tidy up. I'm going to drain the pasta and then get it in my sauce. Really good. So the pasta is partly cooked. Now we're going to fold it in to our lovely sauce. So let's do it. Ooh, too much. I've used con con conchili, but 
but the fowl is better, but Gonchili was the only one in the shop. We're going to cook on low heat for a bit for, to let the pasta absorb all the juice. But if you're going on a picnic, make this the day before because it's even better when you put it in the fridge overnight because all the juice comes out and it just tastes amazing. But it's better, even better, with some French bread with butter on. Okay. Bye. That is my picnic pasta. That tastes amazing. Which is so, so simple as well.